Hello and welcome to video two of chapter 10, <clears throat> Network Management. So we're left off at the syslog. So please don't forget to take your notes and submit them whenever we're done. All right, the syslog server, write the following down. It uses UDP 514 and it sends notification messages across the network, uh, across the IP networks to event message collectors. So you could have either a server or your router and you send messages and it captures all the messages for events all right then you can it can actually have the ids system look at them uh the intrusion detection system you can actually browse through them see all the different events that are happening just like the event viewer on your computer uh, the server does actually the router can capture some of these but um, you want that in a server when you have a lot of a lot of devices and you want to want all the different types of information gathered here all right so um the syslog messages can be sent to an internal buffer or an external server internal buffer on the router of course external server is just a, <clears throat> a separate computer the network administrator may specify that only certain types of messages to be sent to various destinations so that's important. Popular destinations and syslog messages include, so please write these down. You can do it to the buffer, the console line, the terminal line, or the server. Okay? And please take a snapshot of this. These are the severity levels, the severity levels of all the different types of traps that can be sent, depending. I noticed that level zero to level five is really what's important. Level six and seven is just, uh, you have to initiate that just for informational or debugging messages. Um, emergency, you should definitely have that at least level zero. Um, I would say level one to five is important, zero to five. All right, uh, some common syslog messages reported to Cisco routers also, so please write these down, okay? IP, OSBF protocol, Sys operating system, IP security, and interface I, IF. You get all these messages as well. Uh, what else? Uh, here's an example. So uh, an example of an entry of a, in the syslog. So this saying that this is severity number three, and it's up down, right? It shows that um, the surface stamp. Um, here is the facility link, and the severity level is three with a mnemonic of up down. Okay, so it's saying hey, the interface went up or went down, right? This is severity number three is saying error condition, right? That's what this is. Well, an error is, it could be down, for example, if it was an error. All right, so um, configuring the syslog timestamp, you want to make sure it has time snap. So Please write that down. You go to, you do that on the config mode, service time stamp log daytime. All right. So how would you set up, oh, before we go on, how would you set up a syslog server? All right. Well, here, I, I want you to write this down. So if you remember from the old example that we talked about NTP, where R1 is the master and it has the interface, R1 has the 192.168.10.1, right? We went to R2 and made, you know, we told them that the server, the NTP server is R1. This is the interface of R1, right? And also you can go in and say logging host 192.168.10.1, logging trap notifications. This is automatically going to send traps zero to five and logging on, turn it on. So all the logging of R2 will be sent to R1, simple as that. So please write this down as an example of how to set up, um, R1. Make sure that R1 is set up and the and the syslog server is running on it. Okay, it could be, it doesn't have to be R1, it could be a, a server, right, a computer. All right, so now let's move on and talk about the router switch file maintenance. Okay, and... <clears throat> That's, okay, so when you tap the command show file system, this is going to list all the available iOS system files. Okay, so type this, write this command. This is 
and it's and if you want to know what it means it says it's going to list all the available ios file system additional commands that you could do um dir is to list all the directory files or all the folders change directory cd uh or pwd pwd if it, it show you the present working directory you know what directory you are you are looking here when you type pwd it shows that you are in the nw in the nram nvram um uh, change directory that means you go to that directory cd right um what else <clears throat> What else do you, this is using a text file, by the way, when you want to do, uh, when you want to back up your config file. So the best thing to do is copy and paste the running config or startup config in Notepad. So just go to the privilege mode, type show run, okay? And then highlight, copy all of it. Go to copy, go to a Notepad and paste it into a text file and you can save it, all right? And when you're done, and let's say you need it back just go open up notepad highlight all the text file uh, copy it go back into your router type config t and just right, put the cursor and paste everything will be executed immediately simple as that this is the best way to save your configuration file one while you know you don't have to do anything else just that's how quick you can do it all right um so that's how you save again restoring it you can also of course have copy running to a tftp server so the way to set that up make sure you have a computer that's running tftp which is a software and open it up okay and make sure it's connected to the switch or the router and then you type copy running dash tf uh, space that tftp it's going to say, what's the TFTP um, IP address? So you supply it, hit enter, and it's going to say, okay, you want to save it, and you, this is what you want to call it when it's saved. If you hit enter, it's going to, this is going to be the name of your configuration file. If Otherwise, you type in whatever you want. And then just hit enter, and bingo, it's saved. An explanation mark shows that the running configuration file has been saved to the TFTP server. We'll do this in class, by the way. That's not, that's easy to do. And you can do the same thing also for um, the operating system from the flash. All right. You can actually save it on the USB drive right here. So you can use the command copy running space USB flash. All right. I think I we have, the, yeah, right here. So if you stick a flash drive into, if your router has that, a flash drive, uh, uh, a USB uh, port. Just put your flash drive in there and type in the command copy running USB flash zero, and that's it. It's as easy as that. And then you just hit enter and you're good to go. All right. Uh, then you can do direct directly. That means list everything in there to verify that it's been copied. You know, directory USB flash zero. It will show you that if the config file has been saved or not has been copied or not all right password recovery please write the following down this is on how you to set up uh, the password recovery on um, on a router so step number one is enter the rom mode how do you do that so right next to this i want you to write these steps down first and in each step i'm going to tell you what to do so to enter the rom mode you're going to do Write this down. Press control break keys while the system is booting. So you turn the system on, and within 30 seconds, you have to press control and the break keys and let go. You're going to be at the ROM mon. You're going to see the ROM mon with a greater than sign. Once you are in there, then you are going to change the configuration register. The configuration register, then you type in this command con fredge. C O N F R E G space zero X two one four. And then after that, you type reset. Okay. And once it reset, it's going to reboot. And once it reboots, you are going to copy the startup config to the running. 
So the file that's in the startup, you copy it to the running configuration. And then how do you do that? You type copy space start space run. All right. So you copy it and the passwords that are, you don't know what they are, they're being now they're in the running config. Now you change the passwords. So you type um, you know, enable space secret, whatever, and line console, blah, 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 line VTY, blah, blah, blah. You change all the passwords. Once you're done with that, then you what you're going to do is you are you have to change the configuration register back to normal. So it'll always uh, boot up the uh, bring up the um, configuration file in VRAM. So you type config dash register space zero x twenty one zero two. You hit enter. Then you type exit. Then you hit enter. Then you type copy run start and you hit enter. And once that's all done, you type reload, reboot the router, and you should be all good to go. When that happens, by the way, when you reset the passwords, you have to re-enable all the interfaces. You have to go to every single interface and type no shut. By default, they shut down. All right, and here they go step by step. Here you go. So this is step number two. This is step number three. And, and he is getting it back and copying the running to the startup again after you change the passwords. All right. The image iOS management, this is copying the, T, the, uh, the OSF. It's pretty much the same thing. You can copy it to a flash or you can copy it to a TFTP server. Exactly, it works the same way that we did it with the config file. Okay, so you copy TFTP flash. So please write the following down. You want to ping the TFTP server first. If you want, this is to um, back up the operating system. So make sure this uh, the TFTP server is ready to go. All right, it's uh, enabled on the computer. It's connected as an IP address, and you can ping to it from the router. Verify the amount of memory by typing show flash. So write that down. Write whatever is in the bold type, and then you copy. Then you say copy TFTP flash. It's going to come up and say, what's the address of the remote host, right? This is the server. This is the IP address of the server, the TFTP server, all right? And it's going to say, what is the name of the file that you want to copy? This has to be exactly in capital letters or lowercase letters. So if you type show flash, it should come up, and all you have to do is copy and paste it here. So this way you don't misspell it. It's going to double check and say this is what you want it to be on the destination. After we copy it, you hit enter, and that's it. When you see explanation marks, that means it's being copied. So make sure you write these three steps on how to uh, back up your operating system. We'll do that in class two as well as a class activity. All right. Now, if you have several, you know, once you have uh, an operating system saved in the flash, you can use the boot command to always boot up that system. So when you type, write this command, boot system flash, and the name of the operating system, and you say copy running config, your router will always boot up this operating system if you have more than one operating system in your, um, in your, um, in your flash. All right, so please write that down as well. This is how you would boot a specific operating system if you want. All right, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is it. This is it for chapter 10. So please copy the notes that I asked you to, and I'll see you, and submit them, of course, and I'll see you on the next chapter.